What if I told you that world biodiversity is not declining? Even though it's locked, burned down, endangered, according to the indicators at our disposal, it seems to be stable. But we know it isn't. Because we're used to studying biodiversity at a local scale, our methods are inadequate for the global understanding of the phenomenon. So what do we do? Well, we need to change the way we see biodiversity. And we will begin right now by looking at this painting. Each one of us will see it differently. An ecologist would look at the species represented. An art expert would recognize Le Douanier Rousseau and talk about the importance of the naive masters. People like me who don't draw well might find comfort in it and hang it at home to prove that anyone can become an artist. What this means is that what we do depends on what we see. And what we see is determined by what we know. What do we know about biodiversity? Well, we know it's important. For example, it helps ecosystems in sequestrating carbon, therefore helping climate change. Its mere existence is a source of inspiration for new technologies and medicine. But we seem to only learn about it when it has disappeared, like in the huge fires in Australia. Where is biodiversity? How can we measure it? Those are my doctorate's questions. Because I don't want and can't walk through all the world's forests, I use something that has a broader field of view, satellites. Two satellites circling around the globe, taking a full picture of it every five days. My satellites have another quality. While we humans are equipped with sensors in our eyes to detect three colors that we mix and match to see the world in all its details, my satellites have 10 sensors. Each one of them gives me a clue about uh, vegetation structure, whether it's dense or loose, about the amount of water in the leaves or the quantity of chlorophyll. My job is to piece together these clues in order to synthesize a new way to understand biodiversity. In the same way, Le Douanier Rousseau changes how we look at forests. My satellites change how we look at biodiversity. They will help us understand it better, see where it is, and hopefully they will help guide what we do in order to protect it. <laughs>